میرا نام ہے شاہد اقبال اور میں ہوں ہوس پاکستانی امریکن کریٹو شو کا ہمارے شو کے ڈائریکٹر ہیں سید کاشف آج ہم آپ کی ملاقات ایک پوئٹ ایک رائٹر سے کروائیں گے جن کا نام ہے صبح حسین تو آئیے سنتے ہیں صبح کی کہانی صبا کی زبانی صبح حسین تھینک یو فار کمنگ تھینک یو تو آئی تھنک آپ کو میں نے بتایا تو تھا کہ ہم فائرنگ اسکواڈ سے اپنے انٹرویو کا آغاز کرتے ہیں چونکہ نام پاکستانی امیرکن ہے تو اگر آپ ریڈی ہیں فائرنگ اسکواڈ کے لیے تو پہلا ہی سوال یہ ہے کہ سبا ہم دیکھنا چاہیں گے آپ کتنی پاکستانی اور کتنی امیرکن تو آپ کے لیے کافی اچھی لگتی ہے یا چائے چائے ٹپال چائے ٹپال چائے دانے دار بالکل زبردست زبردست اچھا اور جب لنچ کا ٹائم آتا ہے تو برگر کے بن کباب اگر بن کباب مل سکتا ہے تو آف کورس بن کباب انڈے والا بن کباب ہاں بالکل زبردست ٹھیک ہے ڈنر تک آ گئے تو فاسٹا کی بریانی پاستا تو مجھے بالکل بچوں کے لیے سر بنتا ہے پاستا اپنے لیے بریانی ہاں ٹھیک ہے اب شام کو کہیں جانا ہے تو شلوار کمیز پہن کے جائیں گے یا پینٹ سوٹ نہیں یہ پینٹس مطلب ڈپینڈ کرتا ہے کہ ٹرانزیشن ہو گئی ہے یا کہاں نہیں مطلب اگر ہاں پاکستانی فنکشن میں جانا ہے پھر تو ظاہر ہے پاکستانی شلوار کمیز ہی چلتی ہے ٹھیک ہے تو آئی تھنک آپ کا اسکور رہا ہے پاکستان تو آپ اتنے سالوں کے بعد بھی صرف ٹین پرسینٹ امیرکن ہے I guess, if that's your uh, measure for... <laughs> <laughs> totally unscientific. So, let's go this way. So, tell me about how you started to write and write and poetry. Did you have any interest in writing or did it start? It started. Well, it started. It started. I mean, when I was in school, it was my favorite subject in English literature. And I loved Shakespeare and... Um, آل دا کلاسکس وغیرہ آئی واز اے بگ ریڈر اور اس کے بعد آئی ڈنٹ رائٹ اینی تھنگ ایکچولی رائٹنگ جو ہے پوئٹری رائٹنگ دس کے مچ لیٹر آئی ایکچولی اسٹارٹ ٹیکنگ سم کلاسز لون اسٹار کالج سائفر میں میں نے ایسی کلاسز لینی شروع کر دی اور ایک پوئٹری کلاس لی اس کے بعد دیٹ واز آئی جسٹ فیل ان لو وتھ پوئٹری اور اس کے بعد دین آئی ٹرانسفر ٹو یو ایف ایچ اینڈ Um, you know, did a creative writing degree from University of Houston. So that's how poetry started. <laughs> And it's changed my, it's really changed my life. Yeah. Zabardas, Zabardas. So, I mean, poetry, before you wrote some narrative too, have you written some story, have you written story writing too, or yeah, you just yeah. were so much into poetry <laughs> that you just came into poetry? Yeah, I just uh, came into poetry, that's all. Yeah, it's just, uh, uh, st- just started writing. I mean, I didn't know I could write poetry. Mm-hmm. When I took the class, I just discovered, okay, I can write. And then I just, uh, that's just what I wanted to do. And I, I remember sitting in a class and the professor asked, so what do you, you know, what do you want to uh, be or do? I said, I just want to be a poet. Laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, mind you, I did this much later in life. It was not like I was a young student. I was an older student. and uh, sitting in classroom with uh, children or young adults young adult. who were my children's ages. And, uh, yeah, but it was fine. It was, it was a great experience and uh, I enjoyed every minute of it. So, so I think we were talking about this, you know, after living in America, most Pakistanis, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, mm-hmm. um, I think our... فوڈ پریفرنسز ریمین دا سیم بٹ آر وے آف تھنکنگ چینجز یس ڈیفینٹ سو ہاؤ ہیز سبا حسین چینج ایور سینس ان امیرکا ہاؤ ہیو آئی چینج یو نو وٹ ون تھنگ آئی آئی ٹوک ان کالج وچ آف کورس مچ لیٹر ان لائف آئی لرن دین ویمن ہیو رائٹس بیکاز آئی ٹوک آئی مائی مائنر واز ویمن اسٹڈیز اینڈ اٹ ریئلی یو نو چینج مائی opened my eyes about uh, the women's movement and how, you know, how so many rights that women have even um, in America were not, uh, just don't just come to you. They, right. they had to fight for those rights. Right. right. So, and I have three daughters, so that was important as well uh, for me to learn that first. 
So um, I think in that way, I it I have changed a lot. Yeah. Huh? बिल्कुल और आई थिंक उसी से बहुत सारी चीजें आपकी जिंदगी में चेंज हुई होंगी हाँ हुई है आई थिंक उन चेंजेस में से फाइनली आफ्टर सो मेनी जर्नल्स एंड पब्लिकेशन आपकी जो बुक है वो पब्लिश हुई पोइट्री की बुक तो um, उस प्रोसेस के बारे में बताइए कि वो हाँ. लिखने का ख्याल कब आया क्या क्या चैलेंजेस आए यू नो बिल्कुल तो एक्चुअली मतलब आई टोल्ड यू आई वॉज अ लेट ब्लूमर सो आई ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम यू एफ एस इन ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन विद अंडर ग्रेड इन क्रिएटिव राइटिंग और उस वक्त यू नो आई ऑफकोर्स माई मेजर वॉज पोइट्री क्रिएटिव राइटिंग पोइट्री कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो उसके बाद से ऑबियसली मैं आई वेन आई गॉट आउट ऑफ कॉलेज आई काइंड ऑफ कनेक्टेड विद द पोइट्री कम्युनिटी इन ह्यूस्टन देर इज अ लॉट अ वेरी लार्ज एंड वेरी सपोर्टिव पोइट्री कम्युनिटी इन ह्यूस्टन सो आई कनेक्टेड विद दैम एंड देन आई कैप राइटिंग आई टक वर्कशॉप आउटसाइड ऑफ स्कूल ऑल्सो एंड आई यू नो ऑल थ्रू आउट द लास्ट टेन ईयर्स आई हैव बिन राइटिंग एंड actively taking uh, workshops or getting you know feedback from uh, fellow poets and uh, so there came a time where i had so much work collected and i was like what am i doing i just keep writing i need to put this into a manuscript mm-hmm. so i was lucky enough to find a, a really supportive teacher her name is kate twice orcut and um there's a workshop that is offered in the heights area it's called grackle and grackle Mm-hmm. so uh it was being offered through that so i took that manuscript class and um she helped me with the manuscript and kept helping me throughout the process and finally then um so this was 2018 mm-hmm. and then uh, once i had my manuscript together i was submitting it to different presses and competitions also uh because it's very you know it is very uh, com- competitive, competitive right? very competitive mm-hmm. so it's like even for a single poem to be accepted it's like only a 3% of submissions are accepted so it's a big deal when you get to wow. all <laughs> yeah that is yeah as very competitive yeah. 3% so between 3 to 7 depending on the journal yeah. you know the quality of the journal so anyway so i was um, yeah so i was submitting my manuscript now and kept changing the manuscript adding things to it taking things out seeing what worked what didn't work change my titles several times so the final title is elegy for my tongue uh but it it was uh, many different titles before that and uh finally actually i was in pakistan in march this march this march 2023 and i you know saw my email and it had gotten some a one of the presses out of new jersey a very small press independent press had accepted the book so that was just and i just landed I was I was like in jet lag and I was like oh my god what am I going to do so I reached out to you know my mentor and she's like yes yes accept it right away and so so since then it it was a long process even putting the book together and working with the uh, editor and publisher to you know make sure everything is good right, right. everything is correct the way I want it the way she wanted the editor wants it so finally it um, all came together alhamdulillah wonderful world so Is this all released for you right? Ha in September September 29th September 29th. Yes, it came out. Yeah. The well is over the so um are you on a book tour or yeah are you down? I wish I was but it's such a small press that they don't have a stipend for book tours. Oh. So I basically have to seek out uh readings um which uh I you know there are many readings that go on in Houston. um so uh, and of course i know a lot of people they do invite me also and uh, i also like i have a reading on december 10th at um basket books and art it's somewhere in the heights it's a brand new bookstore very lovely bookstore mm-hmm. so uh, i have a reading there i have a reading on november 5th at a it's called the two headed dog on fanel <laughs> it's a bar <laughs> so that's a reading series also Oh uh, they uh, so I'm one of the featured poets there. Well, wow. yeah. Zawarla, zawarla, congratulations. Thank you. Zawarla, zawarla. So, um to ye bataiye ki ab the book is out, we are doing a lot of readings. Um how does the career for a 
uh, independent writer progresses in America. Just uh, can you educate us about that process? Independent writer. I mean, uh, poetry is a very. I mean, it's a it's a very lonely <laughs> kind of uh, uh, you know uh, endeavor because you have to you have to create space for your for yourself, quiet space to think. Mm -hmm. And um, to write also, you need uh, this, uh, you know, um, you need to kind of protect your <laughs> interior space in your brain. So that plus, but you also have to be part of a community like anything else. Um, there is a writing process. Yeah. So you, you you take time for yourself. You Sometimes writers have to isolate themselves. Yes. Uh, I don't know if that works with you or not. Um, but... Then once you have it, you probably go through a lot of reviews, peer reviews and things like yes. that. Yes. So okay. how does a final the final poem or final product comes out of it? Yeah. So as as you get more experienced, mm -hmm. uh, you know, where to do your line breaks, wh how to, you know, uh, what are you trying to convey in the poem? Right. So, uh, of course, as you get more and more experienced, you kind of know what's working, what's not working. Uh, but still you can, you know, you have people, you can send it to read, uh, you know, ask them to read it. What did you get out of the poem? Tell me, you know, what did you understand out of this poem? <laughs> if it's not working, sometimes you don't want it. Sometimes I just write for the love of language. Mm. And um, I'm very like attuned to sound. So for me, sound is very important in a poem. It has to be musical. A poem has to, you know, there has to be music in the poem. So uh, when I was um, in school, my biggest uh, inspiration was uh, Lord Alfred Tennyson, you know. Um, so his poems ha had a, a lot of sound and, you know, cadence to it. So I think that's why I'm, I'm a very li lyrical poet also, you know. So a lot of nature as well and a lot of sound in the poems. Um so basically, you know, it just, um, yeah, that's the writing process uh, for start to finish. I mean, the poem can be revised and revised and revised. Sometimes too much revision can revise. kill a poem as well. Too much revision of anything. It can damage. kill a poem. So I don't like to revise too much. For me, you know, a poem usually comes comes in, a, in, in one sitting and after that it's just revision. So, um, yeah, that, that's how I like Wonderful, wonderful. Us se, kya cheez aapko aisa lagti hai jo humare culture mein ab, it's about time ke hum usko improve kare. What do you think? I think, uh, stereotypes about women. You know, ke ab aap is age ki ho gai hai, ab aap. To pas aap, ab. Uh, that you become irrelevant right you know that's with older women uh, as you you know uh, like as, my, as you age as the perception as I age, age. Yeah. yeah i mean i might not have been looked like this when i was then because um yeah you're not considered you know important with un un unless you are you know have that you're a mother you have a purpose when you have passed a certain age, you have no purpose. So um, I think living here, I I feel I, I will have purpose. <laughs> no, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And especially I, with, uh, you know, have having even uh, found this creative, uh, I think I would not have uh, discovered that I have this talent uh, if I had, you know, been in a different place maybe. Yeah. 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 No, I think very right feel said that I think um and it happens to men also, unfortunately. Men and women we we tend to put people in boxes. Uh, right. uh, especially after a certain time or certain milestone yeah. in, in your life. Yeah. Uh ab aap ye nahi kar sakte. Yeah, ab so you feel pressured that right. you know, I can't step out of this. A, ro a role that has been created for me, I can't step out of the box because it's what are people, you know, that's no, not no expected. <laughs> that's not expect. That's not how you should be behaving. Yeah. So yeah, wonderful, wonderful. No, we're all we're looking forward to more of your publications, and uh, uh, you know, hats off to you for yeah. doing this. In even though you know whatever is considered late in your life or early in your life, but uh, going with your dreams. 
And um, I, I hope that all our future generations take uh, inspiration. And um, always, I think, in our community, there is a lot of people in our community. And I think when we see our children as big as we are, we just have very selected careers. <laughs> ये बन जाओ ये ना बनो ये कर लो डॉक्टर इंजीनियर एंड व्हाट्स थर्ड आई डोंट नो बिजनेस 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 डिग्री फाइनेंस फाइनेंस डॉक्टरी तो आई थिंक द मोर आर मैसेजेस आर वॉइसेस गो आउट आई थिंक वी विल बी डूइंग सम गुड फॉर द फ्यूचर जनरेशन थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर कमिंग टू आर शो लवली और um as 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 you grow in your field um we'll definitely invite you for another one thank you i'd love that yeah wonderful thank all right